I always had an interest in software. At the minute, I work as a loans advisor. I do want to move into the world of software. It's just a mountain of opportunity. I do teach ICT as a subject. I was looking for training courses, then I heard of the masters, and straight away I knew I wanted to do it part-time. The MSc in software development is the conversion masters that we have. That we don't expect any computing knowledge really at all with it. Full-time mode lasts an academic year. The part-time mode, it's delivered at night for a start. The format can run for either two years or three years, depending on the student. At the end of the second year, if they wish, they can switch to full-time and finish their dissertation. The classes are only two times a week, uh, three hours each. So you get the rest of the week to sort of go through your own notes and catch up if you've fallen behind. If I have a question and I go to the lecture at the end and ask a question, they always, they've always had time for me. The amount of work they put into the lectures is huge, so it is, you know, and you can see it coming through. What? commonly thought to be our sort of main focus would be Java programming. Now Java is one of the most common languages in the world, it's one of the most commercially used languages in the world, but it is also very attractive for employers that they would know that you've learned Java to a high standard and if you've learned that then it's easy to transfer to another language, be it C Sharp, PHP, because most of the constructs are very similar with it. And we also then have some of the other major sort of constituents that are required for people that are going into software engineering. So that's databases, web design, software engineering, and also software testing. We actually have access to our own database and our own website so that we can actually develop and see the results of our, uh, our work. A lot of modules do focus on group work because again, like power programming and things like that there is a major uh, trend in the industry at the minute. These modules have been crafted and continue to be crafted and influenced very strongly by industry because industry is really where an awful lot of our graduates are trying to gain entry into. In terms of learning, we would look at blended learning. So everything's videoed, all the lectures are videoed, all the notes are provided up online beforehand, all the videos, everything in terms of notes is also videoed online, and we do online support also for those students. The students that we're getting, they're coming from really all walks of life. And teachers who want to teach programming, students who are maybe working in a call centre, and they're thinking maybe there's something else out for me there. We also have students who are working full-time, full-time mothers, full-time fathers, who are working during the day and still be able to complete and, and study at a course. It is a fairly intensive course, but these students have the motivation in it, and I think we're supplying them with the right materials and the right tools to actually make them succeed with it. Whenever I started it, part-time I was a bit daunted by it but my experience for the course in a whole has just been really enjoyable. It is something that I look forward to each week. I've been to two other universities before and I would say definitely my experience of going to Queen's I've just found this learning experience much better. You sort of feel like you've been bathed in computing uh, you know uh, even though you're only doing the two three hour sessions. There's so much employment, there's so much of a need for software engineers and developers. One thing that's very attractive for a potential employers is the fact that they come from a different background because the MSc students have sort of proved themselves that they could work in a domain and then jump into a completely different domain, being computing, and be able to achieve well within it. Originally, I'd intended to start this course to up my subject knowledge so I would be able to teach the system software development at A level. But I started to realise that, you know, I would actually like to go out into the industry. And if I decide to go back to teaching anyway, I'm still going to have better skills. A percentage wise, probably the majority will go into development type roles. We also have a number of students who go into consultant roles, so there will, be, there will also be people in technical roles, like for instance in database, database management, but you'll also have those who go into sales type roles or technical support type roles. Again, it's the course that opens the door for them to allow them to do that. 